Welcome and a review by the JSPRC. I have in front of me right now the Spectrum S150 Smart Technology Battery Charger. This is one of the newest charger from Spectrum that has the Smart Technology in it. Now, if you're wondering what is the Smart Technology, is the newest technology they have in their batteries. <clears throat> We have a 5003S 3D discharge here from Spectrum of the Smart Technology. And the Smart Technology basically gives you a third wire on your main power. And you sit between the two pins here. This is the IC5. Let's say that's big brother or big sister would be the EC5s, pretty made, pretty much the same and you still have your balancing ports here now while using the smart chargers you don't really need to plug in your balancing port the battery will know by this but we still do plug both of them <clears throat> let's open the box and see what's inside but before doing that let's look what this charger is telling us here the S150 is a 50 watt AC mini smart charger. Basically it's 50 watt of power. It has a power supply that goes 100 to 240 volts AC. Battery type will take a 1S to a 4S. We'll do a LiPo. Uh, need some high voltage life. And 8 to 12S NIMH battery. I know you guys may not be able to see it, but for some reason the camera does not want to focus. Come on. She doesn't want to. Let's see if I bring you guys a little bit closer here. Yeah, she really... She's kind of focusing. Uh, it will do 1 amp to 5 amps. It's an input connector of AC adapter, a specific wall plug, and a DC barrel connector. Uh, output connector is IC3. I will show you that after. And the balancing connector is a JS, JSTXH. XH is this guy right here. Now, they do recommend to be 14 years or older for this to use this charger. <clears throat> but let's see what's inside this box. You do have the physical manual. I would recommend reading this. On the newer, basically, there is uh, important information sheet that's provided inside gives you updates about this charger. Again, if you buy one that has this white piece of paper, please take the time to read it, even if you watch this video. I will explain what's on this paper after. <clears throat> Let's take the charger out. This is the physical charger. The size of a hard case battery pretty much the same thickness this is awesome by looking at it you have one button on top you do have a display here with lights then you do have the IC3 and the GST XH here you do have the PC programmable part to update the charger firmware not available right now but will be coming soon and you do have the physical power barrel <clears throat> let's see what else we have in this box that does not want to come out pretty sure this is the 
power supply itself. Yes, it is. Fairly long wire. It's a Spectrum <laughs> Horizon Hobbies. Uh, BSY adapter, basically uh, 50 to 60 hertz at 1.5, 19 volts, 3 amps. This is one of the reasons this charger can physically do 50 watts, because the power supply is outputting 19 volts. You'll notice certain chargers, if you look behind it, it will say to you, uh, if you go to 14 volts, even to 18 volts, your charger will take less amperage and output more volt, uh, wattage. Yeah, um, that's one of the reasons this can do at 50 watts. Now I'm assuming this box is the power. <clears throat> yes, it is. We don't need that guy. Let's plug this in. And let's plug the charger in. There is a small fan in the back here. Now we have, it's on LiPo and 1.1 1. 1 amp. Now if I select it, we'll change it to point, point 0.5 amps. Then we're back to 5, 3, 1, point 0.5. Long press, we'll move the other side. But again, if you decide, you need to keep it long press to change the chemistry. Long press again. Keep it to LiPo. Now to be able to charge like this guy here, it's an IC5. They do make an adapter. This is one of the adapters. It's a little bit shorter. There is the third wire in the middle. You just don't see it because I have some Tessa tape on top of it. But this is an IC3 and this is an IC5. Now basically we plug in the charger. Our charger automatically converts to the IC5. Plug in our battery. And we'll plug in our charging port. For charging port, but our balancing port. Now you'll notice there's no numbers on these guys. But you'll see a negative. It's right there over my finger. And on your Balancing port, the first one here is always your negative. You plug it in the charger. Now, basically, the charger is freaking out because the charger already started it itself. This is one of the thing uh, this booklet tells you about. <clears throat> now, if you notice, the 0.5 is basically flashing. If we go while the charger is charging, you can change the amperage if you want to. See, now it's gonna start back. Once it's full here, it, uh, it tells you basically it's fully charged. But about this paper here, let's uh, figure out the English side. It's basically telling you that the smart battery, the smart battery, once you plug it in, if you leave it alone for more than five seconds, it will start charging by itself. Now this will be the same thing for a LiPo, even if you plug in a NIM the charger will know. If you're wondering why, it's going to be because of the voltage. Now, if we leave this guy alone, it will tell us when it's fully charged. You'll see this battery bar fully. 
and it will beep on you to tell you it's fully charged to let you know to remove from the charger now once it's fully charged don't unplug the charger don't leave it plugged in unplug everything and put your battery aside and this is the spectrum s150 smart charger Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions or comment, post them below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. And don't forget to subscribe. And if you like this video, hit that bell. Put the bell, I mean the thumbs up. If you want to be notified next time I upload a video, now hit that bell. Thank you for watching.